Good morning guys. As you can see, we are out here in this beautiful weather we have going on here. Not too nice. <laughs> They're coming to deliver mulch. Jared's here with, to help me for a little bit doing the mulch, probably for a couple hours. Um, we're going to work on the trees over here, this mulch bed, and then this big giant horseshoe bed work our way around because I'm going to have them dump the mulch right here. And then we are going to work our way this way next time when he comes and dumps Friday. I might have him dump it all the way down at the end there and then we'll work around the house. We're not putting it in the field like we did last year because I'm not loading it in the truck again. We're gonna get a nice little cart maybe. For now, we're just gonna use a wheelbarrow, but let me go ahead and set this up and then get going. So it's raining, this should be fun. So the phone didn't record because it was pouring down rain, I guess, and it shut it off. I should have checked it. That's what we got done so far. I'm gonna wait for the rain to go away. I don't want to get soaking wet, so that stinks. You guys didn't see them dump this big pile. Oh, well. Good afternoon, boss. Good afternoon. We were out here earlier. That didn't record as well as I'd liked it to. I was not out here earlier. Yeah, me and Jared. Like, I wanted, I set up the phone so you guys could see them dumping and everything, and I don't know. The rain started hitting the phone and must have turned it off and it wasn't recording for the whole time we were doing work. So, but maybe we'll get you a dump on Friday when they come and bring another 15 yard or 20 yards, I think. Yeah. So we'll have to see. Yeah. And then after that, depending if we need a bunch more, we're going to come back and forth. So. Yeah. On the trailer. Yeah. Carl means. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to need a bunch more. No, because. I think it would be, if anything. Probably like five tops yards. five yards, yeah. We'll see. We'll get it all because we spread. only quoted forty five, right? Yeah, and I told him if we happen so. to go over, then we'll just let him know. But I don't. Well, think yeah, we'll do it by over. yard then at that point. But um, I don't think that we should. I think that we should be good. Yeah. So, all right, I have to get finished doing these. Um, yeah. So you finish doing yeah. the hydrangeas, and I'll finish spreading the mulch out on this side because um, I got longer arms and. When they built these mounds, I think they could have gone a little bit lower. They, they're they pretty high off yeah. the ground. Like this one, it should have gone up like four inches, but it's up probably like three feet. So it makes the mulch. You have to kind of spread it nicely. And Okay, you guys are going to go up here for now. And I'll put you on a time lapse in a little bit.
that's how much of the pile we got done. We had to get it off the grass. But we got... I'm gonna do an ending just in case I don't extend it. Just in case, yeah, I don't extend the video. Um, we got pretty a lot of mulch done. The big horseshoe's done. The big horseshoe's done. Man, that pile's still there, so... I'm hopeful we can get this all done with 45 yards of mulch. Yeah, for sure. I definitely think for sure. I mean, like, I don't know. We order 20 yards and it looks like a lot more to me. Does that look like a lot more than 20 yards? I don't know. I think they <laughs> do heavier amounts than what... I think when they load it, there's no exact amount. Yeah. So, and this mulch yard is heavy for us. We've been doing dealing with these people... Asheville mulch ten yard years? for 10 years now since we've been in business almost yeah we've gone here and there for other things but the, put it this way we buy so much mulch there at the end of the year they pay us yeah well, it's just a little bit of a kickback yeah. but um it's you know it's a we nice had little to do, kickback we had to do over 200 yards because I think we were doing for taxes and just for mulch alone we spent six thousand seven hundred and fifty eight dollars yeah that's just for the product yeah so yeah, that was just for us buying mulch. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> yeah, you guys. so hopefully this year it's 200. We're already off to a good start with yeah. 80 on these two jobs. And then we have, Rachel keeps reminding me, probably five more mulch jobs after that. Carl always forgets that all these people are going to want mulch. And, and like, I want to wait to put out quotes because once people get their quotes, they want to pay the deposit and they want to get their mulch done. And we can't do that. We can't do everybody at once. And I think we're going to do pretty good this year. We're actually going to buy a big cart. You guys see me with the wheelbarrow. We're going to buy a big cart eventually, especially for the next 45-yard one. This one, I can have it dumped around the driveway, and then it's not that bad. But the other one, it's got to go all the way in the back. And even to get to the... There's the bed by the house is easy if we dump it in the driveway, but then all the beds are across the lawn and stuff like that. And just having this big 12 cubic yard cart that we're going to get makes it easier. I mean, we did tie it to tarps and pull it last year, but I'm not, I'm working a little easier this year and slower. Well, and that we can't, we couldn't tie the tarps and drag it all the way from the mulch pile all the way to like on the concrete yeah because then the tarp would last like what a half hour mm -hmm. at that point so that's why the cart's really going to be beneficial because and for moving rock and stuff and just yeah. it, it's definitely even around here like when i gotta move buckets of plants i'm pulling i'm grabbing three at a time because that's all i can grab with two hands mm -hmm. and the wheelbarrow only hold like five so this thing i'll be able to pile stuff in yeah. move stuff around it'll be a lot easier and so. it's like the handle that it has like it can be a handle or we can actually push the handle down and hook it to the and beast, hook it to the beast so and pull it up the hill because i think i'm almost sure we have the two another mulch job actually we're going to be building a walkway hopefully too but that and a mulch and then i don't think we can use the cart for that one we might be building two walkways if the second person decides to yeah which will be nice and that person probably gonna get mulch and then the neighbor's gonna get mulch and the one down the street and then hopefully by then <laughs> we're a little slower and we can pick up some more bigger ones but yeah so let's let's hit on that a little bit because yeah, you guys might be like oh my gosh so we have been in business now what 11 years 13 years 13 years oh my gosh yeah. i'm like losing track it really has been that long right 2010 yeah wow august 5th 2010 oh my gosh where did i miss we're getting two old years, you guys okay so we have been in business for 13 years so then we have been using Asheville mulch yard for like 12 years yeah not 11 so like 12 years um these clients are reoccurring clients we have gotten ourselves to the point where um these are all pretty much full service clients these are clients that don't do anything in their yard but they want a really nice yard mm -hmm. and us to do it um so these clients we have been working with for several years and they're clients that always get mulch yeah so um the only new one is this is her second year mulching but all the others which i'm glad are they like, went fine hopefully the neighbor across the street has us mulch again but 
like I said, we're plenty busy now. Me and her, hand, me and Rachel are handling it pretty good. We're going to have Jared doing some things with us. Yeah. I don't know. We're probably not going to bring him out mowing and string trimming yet. I'm going to have him not use yet. the trimmer around here. Um, because Rachel enjoys mowing. And we only have 31, 32 accounts that we're mowing yeah. this year. So. More so mulching and just getting yeah. him to, used to the landscaping and like getting him used to being out in in, in the, the weather in weather, the, like yeah. a couple hours a day and then and talking to clients because that's really important mm -hmm. um you know just getting to know clients but uh, my whole point is is just do 110 percent every time you're on a job and eventually you will not have to work f or you will not have to look for work the work will come to you people will um appreciate your your work value your work ethic and they'll come back to you so i know that there's others out there that have been doing this for years and you know the same thing that it's these clients that are you know you do a great job for them and they're really loyal to you yeah they are C customers i hear a lot of guys say oh you can never trust a client but if you get the right clients you can trust the clients are always yeah good. when you have clients that come up to you and tell you they love you like literally sincerely we've been we're working with them that long i mean everybody's like family to us so and i know that people say well there's a fine line um between you know your clients and you and and there is yeah we're not drinking do, a beer with them and hanging out every day we're, right but, but we, you have to yeah. get to that point where you are almost like family they have to trust who is coming onto their property mm -hmm. especially if they're not there so and um, they like having the same people over and over there because the same people notice things on the yard even if it's not anything to do with landscaping lawn care we yeah. would notice if something was off something was wrong something needs to be fixed yeah so but. it's just you know a couple little tips mm -hmm. just to if you guys are a little like huh you know maybe you're only this is your second winner and now you're like well should i throw in the towel because I mean, they're working all winter, and I'm not. Um, no, we weren't. No, we weren't in the we, second we, year either. Yeah, no. So we, just know that you put the time and effort in in the beginning. It does eventually get easier where you don't have to look for work, which we are very grateful for. Yeah. We don't have to pay much for advertising anymore, which we're very grateful for. Um, so, you know, just always 110%. Mm -hmm. And then it's like smooth sailing and when it comes to mulching guys always spade your beds include that in your price if you want if you want people to see the yard and, and it pop to them and even the neighbors spade the beds include it in your price you don't be cheap on the mulch just because you want the job don't not include spaded beds um you have to include that in the price go with it remember you should not get every estimate you do no i mean if you we are... we probably like the big wall we haven't heard anything back on that i don't know if we're going to be doing that yet it was quite expensive so i'm not worried we have all these other jobs and if they come to us down the road and want to work something out we'll go back to it then you know what i mean but Just we don't, don't worry we don't negotiate no. prices um and and you guys shouldn't negotiate prices either because walmart doesn't negotiate no. prices and you know the big box stores don't negotiate prices i mean if you want to run companies. a special so many yards of mulch you get this price but don't if somebody comes up to you and says well the job you quoted me 2400 i can only do 2000 don't do it you're cutting yourself short yeah and a lot of times you will be out there doing it and if you're not making good time you'll be like oh and that's Why when did it starts to frustrate you so and and they will probably find somebody to do it for them for mm -hmm. that cheaper price but don't let that you know get you down or like coral said if you're getting every quote anyway mm -hmm. you're a little too cheap so you need yeah. to go up anyway yeah so if you're so. at yeah like twenty four hundred dollars and somebody does it for two thousand all you got to do is five jobs to their what 10 jobs yeah. to make the same amount of money yeah um so might take a little, yeah so guys thanks for watching yes please like comment share and subscribe and be happy or at least try have a good, have night. A good night